SASE is a fancy way of combining four different security technologies uh, into one. I believed it was coined by Gartner. That doesn't mean it's right or it's accurate, but I do think this one, this one is. And there's multiple ways to do SASE, which is essentially protection on everything uh, on the edge. One way is to have a software agent out there, and that is the predominant way of doing it. That software agent is on phones, it's on PCs. Heck, you can put that software inside uh, to a, a router everywhere. And essentially, you wanna make sure that what is coming in is exactly what it says, and it only gets access to the data and resources that uh, it, it's enabled for. What T-Mobile has done, which is a first on a worldwide basis. I didn't know if it was on a worldwide basis. I guess that matters or doesn't matter because T-Mobile operates here uh, only in the United States. And it's uh, you know basically Deutsche Telekom uh, outside. But they're doing hardware-based SIM SASE. And anybody who knows anything about security, and listen, everybody's a security expert in, in one shape or form. But uh, every single thing that I've seen in the last 15 years, that if it's hardware-based security, it's fundamentally harder to crack. The software is inherently uh, full of holes. And uh, essentially anything with one of these uh, SIM capabilities uh, enables you to get a higher degree of authentication and and, and essentially telling the services and the software um, that, that you are uh, who you are and you can get access to, to what you want to get access to. So uh, congratulations to the, uh, the team uh, out there at T-Mobile. At uh, AT&T and Verizon do not uh, have this capability. Uh, and I think this just shows kind of the, the you know, the uncarrier for businesses that uh, T-Mobile is executing uh, so well on. Yeah, I don't have a ton on this one to add, Pat, but look, I think T-Mobile made a really great case. It's that, A, you know, it doesn't seem to be if anymore your data is going to get breached. It's really when, and that the cost of a data breach is, is really growing at an exponential rate. Um, the ability to add more security around the perimeter, um, you know, both through private and secure internet access, it gives enterprise businesses, users, a level of protection that should add layers of, you know, uh, abstraction from the ability for bad actors to get at the data. And so, you know, it's innovation. It's innovation that doesn't exist in the competition. And, um, you know, when you talk about business and government, it really is their responsibility to do everything in their power to reduce risk of being breached. And so, I like what you said at the end, Pat. It's probably my most prudent and, and, and important argument I'll make here, but they do it and everyone else doesn't. So if you're a business customer and you're running on a competition that does not offer these additional layers of protection and then something goes wrong, you genuinely know that you could have done something to potentially have reduced the risk of being, of, of being a victim of a data breach. So what happens next, Pat? Do the uh, competition invest and catch up? Can they invest and catch up? And if so, how quickly? Um, but we know SASE architectures have been heavily adopted. We understand that outside of enterprise is one of the biggest risks for, for um, breach. And we know that T-Mobile is thinking about its customers and it's thinking about how to be more secure than its competition. And these are all good things. Yeah, the, the final uh, loop back here is they're implementing this through what's called a security slice. And while we've talked about uh, different slices and different uh, levels of quality for 5G streams, it, you couldn't do that without SA. So they're doing this through uh, an entirely new way of doing this, which shows off the power of standalone uh, 5G. So, you know, just to make a long story longer, you know, in the 4G world, you had to, you know, even if you didn't need the throughput and the latency and the speed, you still had to, it still costs you the same. With 5G, it's, it's scalable, right? You want to stream with, uh, you know, high latency, low performance, you can, you can do that. Uh, it's essentially virtualizing a network. 